is this? Sharing their book, this author, who's a former Beaufort County School District educator, is at Mossy Oaks Elementary School reading her book, Lane Loves Labradors. The story is inspired by her great niece, who's a student at the school. Lane is loving her Labrador. She has two. I have two. With my husband, we, we have Labradors as well. So it's about Lane taking care of her animals, including horses and her fish. <laughs> and so she loves them, and, and she literally does all of this that is in the book. Who does that look like? Lane is more than just the main character in the book. I wrote the um, pages. The retired educator has more than 40 years of experience working in public schools in South Carolina, including being an assistant principal at Robert Smalls Middle School in the 1990s. Her book is unique because in the back, it includes academic standards. We have literacy standards, national, and also science and math. We also have some things called soft skills standards, like responsibility, being kind, taking care of animals, taking care of yourself. So all of those are also in this book. She asked her dad as he heads to the barn, Parents are a child's first educator, and so I noticed when I was reading children's books that I really wanted more to do with the children, i.e. what kind of questions do I need to ask? What will help them understand what the whole book is about? Because we need to teach comprehension. That's early learning, early reading, because if they can read early or if they can understand early, then they'll be able to do the other subject areas. This dynamic writing duo isn't stopping with just one book. I'm hoping that this will be a series. My next one will be Lane Loves Lasagna, because she loves to cook. So she is just a, a sweet girl and a very helpful child. So in my observations of her, it just inspired me to do the book. After reading the book, Lane gave all her friends their own copy and a special bookmark she handmade. At Mossy Oaks Elementary School, Ron Lopes, Beaufort County School District. You get to keep these books and take them home with you.